Hi there, seems like you have been splunking and looking to improve your overall experience with Splunk. You have come to the right place. I will go over what Pure's value proposition for Splunk. Overall, our value proposition is threefold. First and foremost, performance. Pure Flash Array enables faster search performance across a longer period of time, eventually removing the logical tiering of hot, warm and cold buckets as all tiers will have same performance characteristics. Pure Flash Array improves index ingest time significantly and eliminates storage being the bottleneck in the infrastructure stack. It enables to scale compute and storage independently as opposed to the challenges with the standard DAS implementation. The next one is capacity. Pure Flash Array gets better data reduction in the range of 2 to 1 and 3 to 1, meaning more capacity at your disposal. You can decide to ingest more data daily or keep data longer and still searchable. Pure Flash Array enables linear scalability of capacity and performance. We wouldn't be limited by our array model and we can go across arrays non-disruptively, enabling more capacity and performance. The third one is data services. Always on encryption enables encrypted data at rest for Splunk. Always on deduplication and compression helps reduce the data on top of Splunk's data reduction. Snapshot functionality for backups of Splunk index buckets. We recently published a reference architecture for Splunk on FlashTAC. FlashTAC is our converged infrastructure solution offering with Cisco. The FlashTAC includes all infrastructure components like Cisco UCS blades, chassis, Cisco fabric interconnects, SAN and network switches, and of course, pure Flash Array. The reference architecture includes three search heads in clustered mode, eight indexer in indexer clustered mode with replication factor of three and search factor of two. As per Splunk's guidelines, Eight indexes would allow 2.4 terabytes to be ingested on a daily basis, but we are able to achieve nine terabytes per day ingest rate with all indexes and a 10% of CPU utilization, leaving abundant room for ad hoc and scheduled searches. Of course, this can vary based on your load and data type, but it's certainly achievable. As part of the reference architecture, we also tested a sparse search, more like a needle in a haystack, searching one event out of seven billion events the search came back within two seconds. This is not the I.O. response time, rather end-to-end -end response time across all infrastructure stack, including Splunk's CPU cycles at search rate and indexer. The I.O. response time would have been under sub-milliseconds. The overall data reduction that we achieved during this test was 2.4 to 1 for the syslog type of data that we used. This is on top of Splunk's data reduction, which is a 2 to 1. It's almost 50% reduction. Happy to announce the Pure Storage app for Splunk Enterprise. This is now available in Splunk Base for Pure Flash Array customers to download. The Pure Storage app for Splunk Enterprise provides operational visibility for your IT teams in order to gain insights on the health and operation of the Pure Flash Array systems in your organization. The Pure Storage app provides various dashboards and detailed drill rounds with detailed insights into your Pure Flash Array's inventory and performance data. If your organization uses Splunk, for all your infrastructure monitoring and alerts management, you can now add Pure Flash Arrays to this framework once you install Pure App for Splunk. There's also one more add-on, Pure Technical Add-on for Splunk Enterprise that creates new data input to extract Pure Flash Arrays performance and in inventory data periodically to Splunk using REST APIs. We will now look into a demo of Pure Storage App for Splunk Enterprise. If you go to Splunk Base and search for Pure, you will see these two apps, Pure Storage app for Splunk Enterprise and Pure Storage Technical Add-on. Download them and go ahead and install it on your Splunk and restart it. Once you log in, you will see them here. You would want to configure the technical add-on so that you provide the information for your arrays, uh, the credential of the arrays that you have in your environment to be brought into uh, Splunk. So go to Settings, Data Inputs, on the Pure Storage REST API, click and then add new. In this case, I've already configured an uh, array. I provided the IP address and the username and password. Uh, but this is the place where you'll go and add new for all your uh, other array information that needs to be entered. Once done, It'll start ingesting data into Splunk, and now the Pure Storage app will actually show 
more information about the data that it uh, captures. So we'll go into pure storage app here. This is where the fleet of all uh, pure flash arrays that you have in your environment will be shown. As I have only a single array, we see uh, information from that particular array. But if you have more than one array, you will see all those information here. The dashboard, the uh, home dashboard shows allocation information, the array information, the performance metrics, uh, the health map, like in terms of um, alerts that it received. And also, you can select the arrays that you have, and it will show more information about IOPS, latency, trends, and bandwidth trends as well, as you can see here. We have more dashboards. If you go to array inventory, it shows information that like volume by IOPS, volume by latency. So you can look for the volumes that are active in last 30 minutes or last one hour, and it actually sorts them and shows those information, which is very handy. If you go to log inventory, you'll have a list of all the alerts that you received, and also all the audit information, logins, REST API logins, and all information is available here. You can also get uh, information at a host inventory level. If you go to the host, look for a host, it shows the WWN information as well as all the volumes that are attached to that particular host. And uh, with this Splunk app, you should be able to now configure alerts. Um, if you wanted to receive alerts for any new volumes to be created, you should be able to do at a Splunk framework. For more information, visit purestorage.com slash Splunk. Thank you for watching.